Aha. <coughs> Just All right. Life. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for bearing with us. We had a short delay. The time is now uh, 707, and welcome to the regular meeting of the Hampton Municipal Budget Committee. Today is March 17th, uh, 2015. It is St. Patty's Day, so if everybody rise, pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Because uh, Mike messed with it. And I remember that. I want to welcome Mr. Bridal on board tonight for his first meeting with the Municipal Budget Committee. It's always good to see new blood come aboard. Thank you for joining us. Um, we have another new member. Unfortunately, he's not here tonight. We have two people who were not sworn in yet, and that needed to be done before they could serve. Um, Glenn is with us. He's newly elected. And Glenn Farrell, and Glenn, you didn't get sworn in yet, so you will be with us tonight, but you will not be voting. Um, needs to be done. Okay. Um, with that being said, um, I'd like to just take a brief opportunity to let everybody know who is on the committee, what they represent. If you're new, give us a little bit about yourself. If you've been reelected, tell us how happy you are to be back with us. <laughs> and uh, if, if you just one of those of us who's been here for a while and you have something that you want to say as we go around the table, that is a perfect thing to do. I'm going to start on this end so we don't scare Nick uh, with Mr. Ladd. Bob Ladd, Village District Representative. Yeah, Jerry's an OSAU 90. We haven't had a meeting yet this year, so I hope to be back, but we'll see how that voting goes when we meet next week. I am Jones, not to be confused with Dunn. <laughs> Steve LeBranch. Mike Plouffe. Eileen Latimer. Joan Rice, Secretary. Mary Louise Wolsey, Select Man Representative. Select Man? Yes. <laughs> Brian Lapham, and Paul. due to the course of things that have come up, I guess I will be done next year. <laughs> well, I'm Mike Pearson. I just can't get over the Select Men yeah, stuff. I think it's Select Men, if I'm not, <laughs> if no, I'm not mistaken. The representative is singular, Mr. Pierce. I'm you only one person. You represent the board of select men, if I'm not confused. But I am the least. select man. Are you, are you confused? Confused? But I'm the We're select starting off person. already. Isn't this, are we having a good time? The your turn. Uh -huh. What was your name Sorry, again? Private. I'm not using <laughs> The select person? No, -select don't say person. select person. That's annoying. <laughs> you can call me anything you want except something really bad. Mr. Kravis, you were reelected too. Yeah. We're happy to have you back. I'm sorry, bud. I said congratulations for being reelected, and we're happy to have you back. Also. Okay. Thank you. Hi, David Wood, second year. I'm also a state rep. And Nick Bridal. Thank you, everyone. Okay, first order of business is to start to reorganize. I'm going to make, uh, uh, I'd like to nominate Eileen Lambert for the chairman of the budget committee, please. Oh, second. I'd second that. May I accept the nomination? Oh, I have a nomination. Mm -hmm. I nominate Brian Lapham to serve as chairman. Do I have a second? Oh, I don't second anymore. Thank you. The vote. Brian, do you accept? Yes. All right. Do you want a written ballot? No, it's not allowed into law. Oh, that's right. We did that and we mm -hmm. went through that. Okay. So we've had nominations moved and second. Sorry, Max. Only at large members can be chairman. Otherwise, I'd nominate you. <laughs> oh, gee. Okay. For voting. Um, all those in favor of Latimer? Okay. 
Square Enix 7. Do you have them all? You had seven, right? Yep. Seven carries a day. Okay. Well, we need, I need to know. You need to know the rest of the votes. All those in favor of Mr. Lapham. Yeah. Remember, Glenn is not coming. Right. Glenn is not here. No. no. Mr. Farrell. That's what I mean. He's not here. Well, he can't do anything yet. Can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do anything. And any abstentions? You can't. You abstain? Take your vote for it. You abstain? You yeah. voted oh. for the abstention. Oh. You're abstaining one. from which one? All. From oh. the book. Both. Both? Yeah. <clears throat> and do I have Madam have Chair, can I make count a, on that? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Can I just ask a question? Brian, are you interested in the vice chair? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what is the vote on that? Okay, uh, for Latimer, seven. For Lapham, four. Mm -hmm. And one abstention? One abstention for each. And one no vote. Who, what was the no vote? Well, Glenn Farrell. Well, he can't no. vote. He's eligible. He can't yeah. do anything. Just, but I just want that clear for anybody who'd be sitting at home counting the heads around the table. Okay. I nominate Mike Plufford, Vice Chairman. A second. Hold, hold on just a minute. Who seconded it? Jones? I would nominate Brian Lappin for next okay. year. And I'll second that for Brian. Steve. Do you want it? Let him, let him have it. You can say that you don't want it. I will refuse it. Hmm? I will refuse it this year. Okay. Do I have any other nominations for vice chair? Okay. All, all those in favor of Brian? Latimer and Lapham. Okay. Mm -hmm. Double hockey skills. Yes. Double After I just. Well, this year. I'm not going to do five. No. After you get all snuggled in. He's not going anywhere from my phone. <laughs> <laughs> glasses have been with you. And pair? my arms aren't long enough. Well, pair? Yeah, I, could, I, I, I brought several. I printed it large enough for these moments. I mean, he has a pair of reading glasses here if you'd like. I have two pairs. Pair. Two but different thank sizes. You. Thank you. Okay. I put a bunch of stuff <coughs> on this tonight. But I'm going to clean up here. <coughs> subcommittee discussion. Yeah, we should have. Yeah, I, I have subcommittees on next, but before I do that, just I don't want tonight to be a long session. Um, matter of fact, in the coming year, I'd I'd love to see our meetings cut down a little bit, and I think perhaps we have a plan for doing that, um, or could formulate a plan for doing that. Not that we have a plan already. Um, I'd like to just, in a nutshell, go over the past year and thank this committee because many of you 
did a lot of hard work and a lot of hard thinking and for a large part kind of went against what was an, an obvious tide out there to do your jobs and for a lot of you who put in a lot of time and a lot of effort that generally people don't see they see the five hour meetings they see us go on and on and on but they don't see a lot of the work that goes on um, in the background to do those numbers and do those figures um, I want to thank you for that I don't think tonight's the right time to discuss it but I think that we the voters showed us a lot in this election <coughs> unfortunately they showed us that the numbers of voters <coughs> keep dwindling but they did seem to have a sense of how they wanted to spend their money we've taken attitudes in the past that they don't want to spend money but I think perhaps it's how they want to spend it how they have the choice and how they proceed how they perceive the budget so rather than go on with a two-hour discussion tonight I'm just going to throw that out and for the next meeting to give some thought and some reflection on how the voters turned out what they bought what they didn't buy and how we might best serve them in the coming year and our approach to the budget and to ourselves we are a very large committee we acknowledge that some things have worked some things haven't it's a time to go back now that we all see who's here um, and kind of plan the year ahead um, last night I heard on the Board of Selectmen it's a new day there were you know some victories in this election and there were some defeats but it's a new day we reorganize and we go forward to do what we are charged by the oaths that we swear to do um, Thank you for that little bit of time to go over that and saying that. Um, as far as the goals, it's too early for the 2015 goals, I think. Um, even though I have that on here, it might be something. I, I left this as an outline, not knowing whether or not I would be in this chair or not tonight, and wanted to leave enough meat there for anyone who would come after me. Um, but thank you for your confidence in electing the chairman yet one more year um, I have reports here and I don't know if there's anything um, selectman Woolsey is there any oh yes I don't like to waste time here I want to mention something that concerns me when I go to the town office and see the budget committee slot and see piles and piles of printouts in there you know, it's the job of every member of this committee to educate themselves and to try to keep on top of what's happening. I'm sure it's frustrating for the chairman when people are not picking up their information and digesting it before they come to meetings. I believe there was something like three. If I might stop you with that, yes. you're used to the old format when everybody picked things up. We now get them electronically, so it has reduced the need to come to get them, and we've so told what, them up in accounting that they need not. So tell them to stop printing. I, now, I didn't say stop printing, but I said there are. We have new members. I am not sure whatever who, who has what for computer equipment. There hasn't been a need for the number of copies that are there. She can certainly put a couple out, but if you could. We'll I, do that yeah. by the, as we update the information who has computer access yeah. we're not going to kill as many trees this year yeah because that scares me to see the piles of printouts mm -hmm. so right but we that did come up last year and yeah. once we were able to get electronic co uh, copies in the right format okay. it reduced the need for people to go and get them so Could we you perhaps take a poll of the board well we'll do it by the list that Joan usually does yeah. and those who have email will get them via email and, and those yeah. who don't will request that the yeah. copies are put and up let there. Christy know so she has yes thank so you she's for pointing that out the numbers of because it, it is a little concerning I thought good heavens you know nobody's reading the stuff um, I have printouts <coughs> for you here uh, we have uh, 
a revaluation coming up in this community. That's going to take a lot of effort in the assessing office. And you, uh, everyone on the budget committee, should understand the ramifications of the assessing um, procedure because this can make a big difference. I mentioned this briefly to you last year, but this can make a big difference in everybody's taxes as we're bringing more and more um, big buildings and, and big companies on, online. So I've got a printout for everybody, including Joni. And I'll break these, there should be one. So you can get a feel, that's Ed Tinker's report. And as you know, the article that passed for the reval had salary in it for an individual. This is a very labor-intensive procedure. Yeah. These individuals, including the assessing officer, have to go out and visually go to every property in town. And there's some properties that I guess may never have been listed. Um, and here is another memo from Ed Tinker. Uh, giving you an idea on the valuation. Joni, that's for you. I, I will be making copies for Joan of every uh, pass out. Whoops. Oh, we're trying to save trees. So, you, well, but you understand, you need the information. Does, does not, you, apply, does not if, apply, apply to select man? If you're going to do, <coughs> yeah, you can <coughs> just sit there and behave yourself. I am um, having a good time. And then I have the minutes of uh, a, a non-public session for you um, that has not been sealed. And I had a lot of talks with a lot of voters at the polls, and a lot of people were talking about transparency, and they are correct. We need to let people know uh, what's going on and what's happening. And uh, some people said, oh, oh, you're always going in to talk to the lawyers. <laughs> Well, this is why this, this particular question. session was not sealed, and this is going to give you an idea of why there are non-public sessions, because we are constantly being, being approached by businesses for abatements, because they're not happy because they're being taxed too much, and they want somebody to you know, just uh, lower their assessments so they don't have to pay so much money. And some may be justified and some not. But I hope that gives you a little insight. And I have enough copies for you. There may be a couple down there left over that they will, if, if you will give those to the nice gentleman on the other side of the room. Mary Louise, may I ask you a question? Any question. Thank Go you. for it. This is uh, one handout that you just gave us. Yeah. It's a printed copy of an email from Fred Welsh. Yeah, that's all right. It's not confidential. I haven't finished my question yet. Okay. Uh, wouldn't we save the environment further if we just had Fred Wells email this to the budget well, we committee? we could, but I don't know that he thinks that he should be emailed to the whole maybe, budget committee. Maybe, if that's the case, maybe he doesn't think you should be copying us with printed no, copies No, it either. doesn't say confidential, my dear. Well, I then think. have him email it to us as well. Or forward us. But I, get can, I will ask Fred if something comes up. You could forward it to us as well as an alternative um, to print They won't let me use my personal email. You could still okay. forward it. Well, I will ask some of the town okay. office to forward it. But I don't want to oh, spend all night on that, but I want you to have some of that information. It's so an environmental consideration, yes. plus it's a matter of okay. organization. Yes. It's a lot Tim, easier to organize it. digitally okay. than it is I think I'm right. going to move this conversation so. into new business to discuss emails and RSA yeah. 91A yeah. specifically before we go too much <coughs> further. Know, We've had a lot of experiences here with so RSA 91A. Yes. So Mary Louise, if you continue, do you have, I see your hand up, Sonny, do you have a question yeah, for Mary question Louise? For, this was done in non-public session? Yes, but we did not seal the minutes, so you have oh, okay, a right to read I'm that. Look in the bottom, there was no vote All to right. seal. If it's confidential and there's a yeah. legal case ongoing, but this is a public. Uh, that's public knowledge, once he and, files, you, and that's yeah. fine that you should see that, because most of the legal cases that we're tied up with in the attorney's office are abatement cases. Many from the utilities, and there's legislation in Concord, and David can tell you that about trying to uh, not charge the uh, electric utilities for the poles which are located on town land mm -hmm. i'm not going to bore you okay. but there are a lot of lawsuits related to the utilities that can't be publicly disclosed yet but that's ongoing all of that costs money 
and all of that ties up the assessing officer, the um, town attorney, and the selectman. So we're not going behind closed doors to pay cribbage, to play cribbage. We're going behind closed doors because there are legal matters that come up. But I wanted you to have a sampling mm -hmm. so that you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I also have the copy of the latest legislative bulletin. And this is from the New Hampshire Municipal Association. I'm going to give this to Chairman Latimer. So she can duplicate it for you if you choose, or a couple of pages. If I may interject, we get that electronic. Mm. Do you get that? Some do. Some I do. Oh. Well, it's also on the municipal no website. Well, website. Well, if, you, well, if, I get if you want to give it to me, I'll scan well, it. Well, I was going to say, people are reading it, Eileen, that's fine. But this has, especially the proposed budget cuts, this is number 11. So look in your computer for number 11. Well, this is, I'll keep my copy if you don't. If you don't need it, if people are getting this, but look for number eleven, and it's, it's talking day. about how much money Concord is not yes. going to pay to the community. That's been clear for and over that, a year. Well, I know, but it's clearer here. Wow. So you, mm -hmm. if you get that in your email, uh, if you don't get it, I'm happy to loan you my copy so you can read it. But um, this impacts us as well because this comes under revenue, and this is one of the. Uh, contentious areas, as Representative Wood mentioned when I came in, uh, insofar as dealing with the state. Mary Louise, as long as you brought up the Municipal Association, then you are the Selectman's representative. New there business. Pardon? New business. New business? Okay. Thank you. So I just wanted to share those Thank with you. you so you have a feel for what's going on and so that you are uh, understand from month to month. We appreciate up to that. the actual budget time. Thank, Thank you, you, Mary Louise. So you Thank know. you. All right. Good night. Mr. Zanoy, do you have a question oh, for Mary Louise? Yes. Through, through the chair, I'd like to ask Madam Select Man <laughs> a question. <laughs> Select Man's <laughs> representative. Oh, man. oh, come on, guys. I don't want to be here all night. Yeah. yeah. We had a meeting on March 2nd. The Budget Committee had a meeting down at the Village District's precinct room. I'm aware of okay. that, and I'm sorry and that I wasn't able to be there. No, well, I'm sorry you weren't as well. Um, it was, an, I think I took it as an insult personally, as a budget committee member, as a Village District member, and as a taxpayer of this town, okay, that the Channel 22 was not there, okay? Oh. And, and, and Eileen had asked to have Channel 22 to be there. We were assigned. We were assigned that particular place to meet. Yeah. We and were told it would be recorded, and but not broadcast. Nobody was there. Who assigned us that place? Wait a minute. Let me finish, yeah. please. And I asked Bill tonight, because he's normally the person that comes down and, yeah. and always tapes all the village district meetings. Bill Lowney, and, yeah. Yeah. And he, was to he just told me he was never told. He would have been there if he had been told. And when when Eileen went the very next day and said, why was nobody there, all she got was shrugs. So that's not sufficient. Okay? I, will, I will ask in your behalf. I promise I will do that. And find out what the reason was. Who assigned us to that room? The town manager. Oh. Just so everybody's clear, there was a Warren article that was not entirely complete for the date that we were originally supposed mm -hmm. to meet. Right. So the date was pushed forward to the last possible date that we could meet, which ended up being March 2nd, mm -hmm. to conform with the guidelines of scheduling. Yeah. The schedule at the beach goes by the old town format, not under the SB2 format. So there were corrections made along the way to the date People confused that it was one date, should have been another date. Bottom line, we did not choose the date. We did not choose the location. It was chosen for us. Okay? And we were assured that we would have coverage. I will check. Um, it would not be live because, of course, mm -hmm. it was against right. the selectmen's meeting, and we were fine with that. Um, but it did not happen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so Commissioner Ladd and I burned up the phone lines. But. Just so everybody knows, it is not a date that the Budget Committee chose. It was chosen by, it was clarified, I won't say chosen, it was clarified by the attorney for the precinct. Okay. And that is what was the driver Which of attorney? that. Huh? Sharon. I Sharon. Assume. The VD attorney. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Not, not municipal attorney. Yeah. So okay. we had not too much to say about the where and the when. Mm -hmm. We were there. Yeah. That's... 
I'll leave that one. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Town manager assigned us that room. It was based on availability for that night and what could be. And the the last footnote is that if the precinct room um, ended up being too small, we were going to be able to go across to the police station. So well, it's a little con confusing because. You know, as you recall at that meeting, one of the VD commissioners admonished one of the budget committee members that we were on their turf. Well. And I understand from the transaction <coughs> at the fire station that that room is wholly under the control of the VD. So I'm at a bit of a loss as to how the town manager could assign us something he has no control over. That was... Mm. I, you know, going back, I can't tell you whether it was the town manager, whether it was the secretary at this point. That's how it ended up. Mm. Okay? But it wasn't something that we chose. Yeah, All right? A, it's a communication. Yeah, it was it, availability. It was availability. Yeah. Not, not to belabor that. Probably good. just a little bit more disturbed that it was not recorded. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, so I'm yeah. going to move on from that subject. It was. It, well, it was, yeah. thankfully to you. <clears throat> Jerry? I really I don't have anything. I was looking forward to perhaps some discussion on the subcommittees and things like that, or procedural guidelines. But I really don't. I'm, my our first meeting is next week, so I'll try to be reserved a little bit here until I'm officially representing SAU 90. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I I I can make a comment on the vote, but we all know how that came out. That came out. So I I, I don't want to. Uh, Said New Year. The new year. Move on, work hard, and what we have in front of us. Mm -hmm. um, and who am I leaving? Probably better serves to be oh, about right. the, the immediate yes. schedule going forward in the next few minutes mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. Bob? Well, we don't have too much to say right now as our annual meeting mm -hmm. is March 27th, and our budget, if approved at that time, <coughs> allows for additional activities this summer at the beach. But it's all dependent on the approval of that budget. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and we will encourage everyone who is a resident able to vote in the precinct to vote March 27th. And the voting time is at the Beach Fire Station from noontime to 7 p.m. And at 7 p.m. the annual meeting will start. Well, it has just in the past few days come to my attention that the wording on one of the Warren articles was changed after we approved it. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a concern over how that will go on the ballot as recommended because we did not recommend the current wording. And I think, quite honestly, um, we're going to need a legal interpretation on that. It looks like the selectmen are going to be negotiating the bond instead of the commission. Yeah, I realize the issue you're raising. I have a dim memory that it had come out up at the unfortunately not taped village district meeting. But more importantly, bond council, town council, the district's council, and DRA are fine with the Warren article. I understand that. Um, what I'm saying is that it was going on your ballot as approved by the budget committee what? when in fact the, the new wording <coughs> we did not approve. You approved, as I understand it, everything the budget committee has authority to approve, which was the money. Exactly. Part of the article. Mm -hmm. the no, end. no, we approved the whole article. Yeah. We approved the, the we approved the yeah. whole article. You approved the whole article, yeah. but the purpose of that approval was the money. I, but that's where I. Yeah. That's where. Or a comfort zone, and it's new territory, because quite honestly, I've never been in a situation where a Warren article was changed after the fact, after it was approved, yeah. and voted on in a public mm -hmm. hearing. So here's my dilemma. Four years ago, we, when we spent two months in court. Well, hopefully we don't have to do all that and spend all that money. I think it's a very simple issue, or not. Um, <laughs> Who is we? The don't start. I just wonder who we is, that's all. Well, that particular Warren article, what was the vote? Does anybody remember the vote on it? Seven but to four. Seven to four. Okay. That sounds it, good. It, it had a majority vote yeah. to it. As it was, it, it, there was no problem putting that on the warrant as approved by the Budget Committee. 
uh -huh. uh, a rec I'm sorry, recommended by the Budget Committee based on the vote. With the changing of the words, it is, is an article that was not approved by the Budget Committee. If it is okay with DRA and everybody that it goes on the warrant, that's one issue. But to say that the committee, which no longer exists because now we are a different committee, approve that, I would like, I would be far more comfortable with clarity on that if we can get a legal opinion on that. You have legal expense in your budget, do you not? We do not. Oh, we took it out? Oh, it, and I would I say because this fell on the precinct and the change was made by the precinct, yeah. I guess at this point in time I would ask that you ask your counsel. Ask Sharon. What is, what is the opinion you're asking for? The problem is we had a Warren article that we as a I budget understand that, but right, what's the question? We as, we as a budget committee approved. It would go on as approved. Were you put it going to put recommended by the budget committee on the ballot? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Warren article that is now going on the ballot, yeah. although the spirit lies intact, the Warren article has been changed. And it is not a Warren article that we recommended right. as it is currently worded. Right. It's a fact. Okay. Is, it is it academic? Is it academic? Or no. Is it uh, no, I don't think it. I, uh, Honestly, it's it substantial. sounds picky, but I, I don't think it's well, academic. Yeah. It changes two whole boards. You can't change your vote. You, we no, can't no, no, I'm not no, suggesting that. No, 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 but I'm saying. I'm only pointing out that we're suggesting that we want a legal opinion on what is a known fact. That makes no sense. A fact stands on its own, regardless of how you want to perceive the well, implications guess, of the I fact. I guess the question is. It is a is, fact yeah. that the VD, Village District, is putting forth a warrant article which says that the Budget Committee approved it. The one article that they put out is not what the Budget Committee approved. Therefore, the printing of the Budget Committee's endorsement of it right. is fraudulent. Well, I don't want to go Fact. I won't go there. But what uh, I'm saying is that I, 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 I don't think that has put that. us now in a situation where we would have to remove recommended by the Budget Committee simply because the wording has changed. The intent has not changed and the dollars you're correct the dollars has not changed but the wording of the Warren article has changed what are you asking for change that I should bring to our council to I guess have removed um, recommended by the budget committee well, either that or just go to the original language that we did approve you would have to have another public meeting I don't know if they have time well they didn't have to have a public meeting to change it that's the funny thing well, and now we're just suggesting is to change it again by removing the budget committee's approval, which is itself a change. To have us so you can't make anything. This thing is a complete mess in more ways than what we've enunciated right. already. Wait, okay, Bob. Excuse me, I'm, I'm well, talking about right now. Okay. A, it's clearly not a mess. We have opinions for everybody who matters legally that it's quite all right the way it is. I recognize the point you're making. I'm just trying to find out from you what language is it you would like placed on that Warren article? I believe that it would be inappropriate for it to read recommended. So should it read nothing? No should opinion. Read, should read nothing. Right. Nothing. Right. But I want <laughs> to, the hearing, I'm not the attorney. I would like a legal, and since we have no legal budget in the budget committee, I would like a legal mind who has an expertise, excuse me one minute, an expertise in this, what is going on with this Warren article, to advise one way or the other based on what, we're sh was what I'm asking you. We approved the, wor the original wording. We did not approve the current wording. There is not time between the meeting to actually have another public hearing for us to go back in and do it again so we we're, we're stuck and I think the only thing um, from a legal standpoint that can be done is to just take off it doesn't change the fact that if anybody reads the minutes and and goes over that meeting that the seated budget committee at that time approved what was written seven to four it doesn't change that what it changes is that the wording has changed and it would be appreciated if that was brought up 
um, the night of your meeting. Absolutely. Okay, and that that is why that wording is taken out. But if we can have a legal, a legal um, opinion on that, I just want it to be correct, Bob. I don't want after the fact a question to come back. I mean, we cannot. I mean, what you're asking for is you're asking for a legal opinion from a lawyer who has skin in the game. I, I you're not going to get an that's objective who their opinion attorney on the is, matter. Right? That's for sure. Stick my nose in. Bob, wait one second, because I think you, I don't believe that the precinct has ever voted to require the commissioners to place the recommendation on the warrant. The town did vote to have the selectman's recommendation and the budget. Well, we asked that evening, and they said they were going to. So that's why I'm asking. They. You no, weren't with you, have it, but you I, weren't with us, and I asked if the recommendations were going to appear. No, no, that's not the point. I Louise, mean, they don't have to. Point. You're right, but they did, and that's it. So, so all you have to do is take it off before you print the warrant. But warrant. there's a public notice out do. there. The the the. the, the the, the hundreds of people in the Good village grief. district are going to read that public notice and say, oh, well, that was approved by the budget committee. I don't have to go because I trust the budget committee. Well, they're pretty brave. Yeah. There, aren't they? That's why there's so few go to those committees okay. because they just Whatever. trust all these approvals. Whatever. You shouldn't be required to print it on your warrant and you want to stop before you get the warrant printed so that's not showing on there. No, I think it's more in play at that. Well, public yeah, notice is in play. It's more in play at that. I just want, would like to know to if accurate. there was something else that we needed to do or if that is mm -hmm. I, I would like a letter, Bob, to this committee from an attorney. If it's not that, then we'll, you know, then we'll have to go to the town attorney. But we need, I feel that the committee needs a letter from an attorney, all right, clarifying the situation. Maybe we're making a bigger thing out of it than needs to be. but. We passed clearly. We passed one thing, and it was changed after the fact. And I just want to make sure that it's fair to everybody, those voting, those who voted for it, and for the records, so that I will bring your request to, to our council. Anyway. Thank you. And the only thing I would reiterate is we've checked with four different legal authorities, and they've all said the warrant's fine. If that's the case, then that's perfect. And if they wouldn't mind putting it in a brief letter to the, the um, municipal budget committee I'd in be fact, very happy town council is one of those four councils. okay I'd be very happy no matter who it is if you could supply us with that it so would be a good recommend thing. that they take recommended off the off the warrant I'm, I'm going to bring your request to council I'm not making any recommendation okay that should be removed because that's definitely John, have you got that on the record that that okay, yeah, that's been changed. Oh, we don't want to handle that bond frankly no, we don't want to get involved with it at all. Okay. Zero likelihood the town would ever be involved in that bond <laughs> right. unless the precinct became bankrupt. And if that happened, the precinct has more than enough current assets right. to cover the value of that bond. But okay. legally speaking, the precinct doesn't exist, does it? No, we're it's the village district, of, right? We're a of your <laughs> legally <laughs> speaking. I'm not going Here we go again. Okay. okay. This, no. this, this is the reason this committee have so much difficulty. Yes, we have people pretending to be lawyers who cannot speak legally correctly. Okay. And someone who aren't licensed who try but to manage to do so we, anyway, yes. Look, everybody in here. You know, the public has not been happy with us. And I've seen bad behavior on all sides. I suggest when everybody comes in here, they come in with their best man is like they're going to a relative's dining table. Just like the House of Representatives. I think there's, I think there's a lot of important <laughs> concerns but so, and, and, and a lot of important discussion that sometimes flies back and forth. And when we inflame it, we certainly get press, but we don't get anything done. You know, this, this year is, is one particular year that a lot of things came together on this committee. There was a lot of people working together on this committee. Um, and we got a lot done. And I hope that the year going forward is the same. So, <coughs> Tim, I know how passionate you are. Bob, I know how you feel to some extent about the Budget Committee. And I'm sure that in individual conversations there's a validity to everything that is said and done. But we have work to do. All right, we have work to do, and 
that's a legal question I have. All right. Fine. And I think it can be easily rectified, but I don't want to leave it in thin air. So thank you for that. Is there anything else for report from? No. All right. Thank you. Okay. What about Jerry? Jerry, you got Jerry. Oh, I did, Jerry. You did the school thing. Well, we haven't had our meeting yet. Yeah. So <laughs> next Tuesday. All right. Pay attention. It was not, not sufficiently volatile, I guess. <laughs> okay. Before we get too far and wide, um, I'm going to go over the minutes. And going back to, and this, of course, would be for the members that were here for these minutes. Going back to the January 8th minutes, if you don't have a copy, I sent one to everybody electronically. If you don't have a have that or you need a printed copy, I have extras here. That was the meeting that we did not have coverage on. For a period of time during that meeting, it was reported to us that there was no audio. I thought you said there was no No, that was, well, we seem to be suffering. Well, it says March 2nd. Well, no, I'm talking January. about January 8th. January 8th. It January says March 2nd, but I, it's one from January 8th, so I apologize. I missed one. Um, we seem to be suffering this chronic thing of voice not being there for the 20 meeting. minutes at a time. Um, no coverage. And um, it happened four times in total. Um, this particular time, there was no voice for a very long extended period of time during a very crucial part of the meeting. So um, Tim was very kind to... The device no one wants to rely on came a, through again. Okay. Go back and take verbatim because there's nothing for the record to go back to. And mm -hmm. we've gotten very used to having every word we say on TV to go back and click through and go through, and we're spoiled. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, so this was in addition to your minutes, Joan, only as um, coverage for what was not heard. This I have not. I didn't even for me this. Does this have this stuff in it? This has, this has a full... Okay, I don't have that. Okay, now you do. Um, I can, uh, we got an email. I can send it to you. Mm -hmm. No, I've got, well, I've got it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I meant the email, so it would be easier for you to get it posted. But it is exactly as I'll I described you. it to you oh, at the okay, last meeting. I should send it to be It's posted. the minutes right. that you created, Joan, with the transcripts, literal transcripts, of what took place in that uh, time gap. Wow. It's only in the time gap. It's not it's the only entire, 10 pages of transcripts. Only the, it's not the entire meeting. So I didn't take minutes during yes, the time gap? Was. You took them. They're incorporated in there. But what Tim did was he put the entire dialogue in it because the video was lost to the record. Okay. okay. I got the email. Which gave us uh, a further appreciation for having a video record and Joan's notes. As well as backup devices. not have to go devices. through every single word. And I don't know, that took you yeah, quite a few hours to do. All right, now moving on to March 2nd. Are we going to approve them? Um, I haven't had a chance for you to go over it yeah, in detail. Yeah, haven't gone over it. I hate to ask you I for do a have, transcript. I do but have the recording. Can you go over, this is something, that, it's unusual, but again, we had no video to back it up. I wasn't here. I wasn't in Since the, you uh, have the audio and recorded it, can you go through Joan's notes? Um, and attack and just make sure what's here is correct and nothing really needs to be added but the information here is correct according to the vid the audio record mm. you don't want to do a whole transcript mm. again well I will tell you this I, I, che I checked with the uh, the recording uh -huh. the recording came out very clean okay uh, and, and I was just thinking that I don't necessarily want Joan to be out of the the, the process, and I okay. maybe want to work with Joan if she'd be willing to. To uh, maybe she'd find the audio recording useful. I don't know how often you go back to recording when you do your minutes, Joan. But you didn't. I have don't it. spend that many hours on it. I'm sorry. 
you didn't have access to the recording, and that's no. probably my okay. fault. And if it would help for you to for me to give it to you, I will. Uh, I'll because let you make a call on that. Just briefly on page five, there is some confusion on the bottom here. Um, the very last paragraph. Are we on, in March the second? March second. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. That was the public hearing at the precinct. Mm -hmm. Best birthday I ever spent. Page five. Okay. All right. That very That's last paragraph last that has me discussing the RSA 91. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, oh, I yeah. said that I did respond, but not by email. There was more to it than that. My response to Mr. Waddell was that I don't respond by email, but he persisted, <coughs> if you remember. And ultimately, I did respond by email, everybody. Eileen, I sent these to you, and I asked you to respond to me with your changes, which you did not. I'm responding right now in public, all right? And <coughs> I just want to make sure we have the wording correct, and I'll just review that before I make the change. So. I'm willing to help out. I'm yeah. just suggesting that you know Joan should have a fair chance, if she wishes, exactly. to have the audio recording. And I'll be happy to get that to you, Joan. It's not a big deal. Would, would I mean, you, I would you like that? Would you like us to proceed in that fashion? Or would you rather not be involved? Or, I don't know. Actually, I've done this this way for 13 years. I'd rather con continue doing it this way or discontinue. It's up to you. Well... Here's my issue. That last paragraph <coughs> is incorrect. And I have not been with Tim since our March 2nd meeting, so I have not been able to listen to the meeting. All that I know is that what is down here in this last paragraph is not correct. Yeah. And it's a very important paragraph that I would like the opportunity to be able to put in correct. Well, would you like to read it to me as it should be? I have not had the opportunity, as I just stated. Is it stated. possible, um, Jim, uh, Madam Chair, that Tim sends this audio file to all of us via email? If, if he can do that, that's fine. No, just I, it's just a suggestion. I mean, this is the because problem with not make, having a, we can't a public really hearing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can, I can. I'd like to listen to it myself. I can, I can put the audio up on YouTube, just like a video. I can still put it up there, and you guys can all link to it at, at, you, at your will if you want to go that way. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not particularly comfortable with YouTube broadcasting. I mean, this is it's very simple. In this last paragraph, and you all know the explanation that I gave. This is not reflecting that issue. It was an important hmm. issue regarding. Right. If you want to review the video, I mean the audio. And I'm uh, coming in here tonight, and I'm mm -hmm. requesting time to review the audio, which would go from this meeting to the next meeting. And quite honestly, I don't understand why we're into, yeah. you know, whether you're going to stay okay, or Okay, fine. I move that, that we paragraph. table these minutes until uh, members have an opportunity to further reflect on the contents of these minutes. I'll second that motion. Thank you. Uh, but does that clarify the audio tape? Because I, th I myself like to look at the tape in I conjunction with the written right. minutes. I do, too. Uh, so can you make that audio tape or uh, a reproduction of it available to the members? For you? That was my question. He put it up on YouTube, right? That's what I said, yeah. yeah. No, Chair is saying YouTube might not be the forum. You know, my concern is that beyond it being a regular meeting, mm -hmm. this was a public hearing. I'm very disturbed that we don't have a video of that public hearing. I it's agree. a very, very important meeting. This last paragraph was an important paragraph. Okay? Is there a way to just record that so that it could be put upstairs in the file with the minutes as they put away the um, the sealed minutes or just something of YouTube always sounds so out there in the universe. <laughs> I know. Is that it's all out there in the universe, but um I don't know what I, I hear what you're saying, Bob. But you there's know? nothing confidential in the in the minutes. Yeah, it's, it's public anyway. So putting on YouTube does not expose us to any. All right, put on, you, any, put on YouTube and then we're not going to be giving away any state secrets. We can look at it. Yeah. So. Well, I don't do YouTube. I would just suggest you make changes 
based upon what you're going to find out and then present them to Joan and then we'll vote on them. Why don't they watch the, listen to it first? Oh, well, listen first. I don't do. I need yeah. to listen. I got more websites right. than I need because That's everyone around you has a different website. You don't have to listen to it on YouTube, right? I'll make the motion, but on YouTube. No, stop, stop. There is a motion on the table that's been seconded that we table the minutes until other members have an opportunity to further reflect on the contents of the minutes. Right. And that was seconded. That's right. the motion. Let's take a vote on that motion. Right. All right. All those in favor? Opposed? Abstain. Abstaining. Okay. Now, I'm going to make a motion up on YouTube so they can watch it on YouTube. No. First of all, let's get some, a couple of points clear on this. So I don't want to have another argument again like we had last year. Right, so let's go. Last year, Brian, as you recall, you didn't want to rely on this. All right, so I'm sure you don't want to rely on it now because you're a very consistent man. Secondly, I didn't either, but I was sec happy right. It. Secondly, this is a privately owned device. A recording that it contains is my ownership. I understand. Okay. So I will do whatever I want with it. Okay. If I wanted to put it on YouTube, I will. If I want to share it with you an email, I will. And I plan on putting it up on YouTube so you can all have equal access to it. Thank, Thank you. If you don't like much. it, sorry. Thank all you. right. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. All right. Have, do you feel we have sufficiently resolved the other minutes from yeah. January 8th? Yes, I do. Yeah. I move right. that we accept the minutes as submitted by you this evening. Okay. Second. Wait. Okay, which minutes? Which minutes? The one with the transcript the on January 8th. The one with the transcript 8th. to the dialogue. January 8th. So... <coughs> For accepting that. Who's seconded it? Second. Brian. All those in favor of accepting the dialogue attached to the minutes. Thank you. The entirety the attached, right. Opposed? And abstain. Okay. Uh, we were right. Right. Well, yeah, if you weren't And Joan's got all the dialogue, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, Mary Louise, you have a question? May I get you all excited and make an observation? Um, I have, I do go online frequently to check on minutes. It's very difficult to have no minutes posted by the Budget Committee in mm -hmm. 2015. And uh, I just, I think it would help tremendously because you are a public body to, to have minutes up as soon as reasonably possible. Joan, do you still send them? I sent them to Paul Paquette. Yeah. So yeah. I should need to talk. Okay, yeah. well, I'm making my And round. you might you might want to make mention, too, that we have done nothing different this past year okay. as oh. was done in the If the technical yeah. staff is getting into a problem, then I need <coughs> well, to know that. Okay. I think, Joan, just curious. I think do you, we have do you email few. Paul the Word document like you do to us? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. The minutes, the minutes aren't on Excuse the site. Excuse me one minute. Mm -hmm. All right. And I also emailed the minutes. Just like the precinct minutes get. Excuse me. Them up. One minute. I also emailed the minutes to Christina, who always in the past, if Paul did not get around to doing it, she would do it. Mm -hmm. On multiple occasions in the past year, I have said we continue to do what we have always done, and it is one of the battles that I am getting very tired Okay. of doing and as you come as you come in and mention it appears to some that yeah. the budget committee is not doing its job right. is not giving the public its records when we're doing mm -hmm. as we have always done okay because that and it has me. always been posted and no agendas have been posted either that I've been able to find so the I agendas do not need to be posted they need to well, they it can go here it's, a, it's as no, a courtesy no, the agenda excuse me showing online there's a space for your minutes and your agenda well they also got the agendas just, that's so, what I'm saying. so whether they have to be or not is a different question is a different answer to that right. question whether they get them or not they mm -hmm. do okay as long whether as they have to or not <coughs> that's a different <coughs> issue can yeah. the minutes be posted online without being approved by the board yes Again. Okay, well, and, well, no, and well, it's well, usually well, draft well. minutes yes. they're dra I think just what draft let minutes. me right. let me just yeah Nick asked that question a lot of times what you have out there, Nick, are the draft minutes. We do all the approvals here. There is no, There are no meetings held outside of this room, contrary to belief, okay? No meetings held on the outside. No meetings held on the outside with Joan and I. What Joan does is she sends me the minutes, and I go over them for something major. 
and then the minutes sit like that in a draft sense until we come in here and correct them. All right. Well, that's why I was asking because, like tonight, we just approved the the January eighth minute, so that's why right. it wouldn't be on the website as of yet. We have had because, and, and this is a good discussion. This is put it onto new business if you want. We have not been getting the support that we were getting in past years from when it leaves us and it goes to other places. So people should know we have had to do some extraordinary things. If we don't have video and we have a crucial meeting, all right, and, and we have a blackout that there is no audio, okay, it creates a situation where we're now writing dialogue. If we have a public hearing and we have that's a public hearing that's posted. Everybody knows that, that that should be on everybody's calendar, okay, regardless of what department it is. It's, it's a public hearing, and it's very vital to the precinct. It's vital to the, to the budget committee. And we're sitting here tonight trying to figure out how we're going to authenticate the, the minutes and the meeting, the meeting minutes to that. So this year it has dragged it and, and you know tim it's a great thing that that's you have, how we authenticated but you know what last year we told you to take it home and quite honestly i ended up eating <laughs> right, my words right. because i was glad you i had just it. shoved it in my pocket so instead, yeah. kind of cause and effect if everything works the way it's supposed to nick then we don't have these issues i think but when the, it doesn't the, the, then we need um, a backup yeah my plan. concern was just more procedurally if it was drafted minutes or approved yes the Joan point, is the very, the Joan point is very boils down to this yeah. nick the selectmen put their draft minutes on the website. All right, that's could their procedure. Could I clarify for Nick mm -hmm. so we don't have Well, as soon as I do, I you can do that. If no, you no, no, no. But mm. Nick, what you need to understand is Let's, that uh, all the minutes. May I make a suggestion? No. We move on. All the yeah. minutes are draft minutes. Let's move on. And then point the of order. Point of order. And then point the of order. Well, you can take your point of point order. Point of order. And please excuse but me. You're, I'm trying to explain. You are a rep here. You are not running the meeting. Madam Chairman, can we move on? To please. Mr. We're going to move on. We're going to move okay. on. Then the next Mary minutes. Louise. Mary Louise. The yeah. next Mary minutes Louise. will show corrections oh, from Lord the draft. Actually, I believe I had the floor, Madam Chair. Yes, you did. Thank you. Now, yeah, Nick, you know, while the selectmen have the luxury of being able to put their draft minutes up there and get it up there every time consistently, <coughs> and their final minutes up there consistently, as you heard from our conversation, we're struggling just to get our approved minutes up there consistently. Once we achieve that milestone, then I think we can take on getting the drafts put up there as well. I will look into that, but there are no such thing as final minutes. The minutes of every given date are draft minutes with corrections from the, from the meeting before. Once the meeting minutes are hmm? approved, they become the final minutes. What I Up do... to that point... Excuse me, Joan. No? I'm not going to go no. any further with this. They That's sit as question. draft minutes until they are approved. That is why we take the time at a meeting to actually formally approve and vote on the minutes. And do what do you do about the corrections? Second? That was that was it. Okay, the thank you. The corrections are incorporated into the current and minutes. Then I send the amended then minutes back to Paul Piquet. Yeah. And I misspoke, Nick. I said final minutes. I should have said the approved minutes. Yeah. I apologize. All right. Madam, I think we're Madam clear Pitt, on that. Yes. Just for the record. Just for the record. Okay. So that everybody knows this, including Nick. Joan sends the minutes to everybody here electronically, usually no later than three days right. after the meeting. Yeah, right. That has always been the case. Mm -hmm. Okay, she does not wait. She sends them out immediately right. so that anybody that gets it, gets it on email can review them. They see something glaring. They could actually even contact Joan, yep. okay, just for the record. So she's been doing that faithfully. I seem to remember something about that in that they have to actually be posted within five days of a meeting that's, is there that's some a state law. Mm. it's a state law and she does that they're sent now whether they're posting them or not they have is to, another thing oh, they're posted but, but joan does send these faithfully mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. it's no later than three days after right. any meeting we always get these minutes right. okay so does the town the draft. and quite honestly they're sent to christina and they're always available we have run into situations chronically that whatever is posted, I end up posting five, five times in the course of a month because people take them down. There is no way to prevent well, that. Joan, didn't you but say you send them to Paul, not not to Christina? Or do you I send don't them to Paul? Excuse me, Tim. Let me finish 
You don't send them to Christina. She should, They're sent to Christina, so at any point in time, if there was a resident who wanted to see those minutes, they can be readily pulled up just by going to the town secretary. She'd be happy to probably send them to her. I do. Oh, okay. I started out oh, by that saying that. But I would also note, Madam Chair, that under the law, it's the town clerk to maintain the records, not the town manager's assistant secretary. It's well, the administrative assistant. It's the town clerk's they, job yeah, to maintain the town's yes. records. I would suggest that you talk to the people in Channel 22 and ask them to do a, a recording I'll check as well something. as a I'll video. Check. So I in promise. case it's a breakdown. Yeah. That is, have a that is, that they is. have a recording. That, well, <coughs> no. Oh, no. We also you can put that in your pocket. We also it so works there too. Okay. Yeah. All, All right, right, moving on. Moving on. New business. All right. <laughs> you had a request to make of. Yes, it was actually an old business, when technically Wolsey. speaking. But since Mary Louise is our newly select man's representative, mm -hmm. I guess that makes it new business now, right? Can we get out of here? And Drop the S. Yes. There we go. What is your problem? I don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's your opinion. <laughs> Who speaks? Go ahead. You got the floor. <laughs> the budget committee has uh, uh, a problem in that we had uh, last spring, we had a very nice uh, informational session with the New, the New Hampshire Municipal Association. Right. And we learned a lot during that presentation. And uh, it was also one of the things that we learned, which I thought was very informative, was because of the enormity of the dues that the town pays. Because we pay more than $15,000 a year. Yes, mm -hmm. the enormity of it. Because of the enormity of the dues that we pay to them every year as a mm -hmm. town, that we are entitled to a free seminar. Now, that free seminar, of course, will be determined by the Board of Selectmen according to the rules of the New Hampshire Municipal Association. Last year, from June onward, this committee has been asking the selectman's representative if he would please find out from the selectman whether they plan on using that free seminar because this budget committee would like to use that so that we could all collectively come to a common understanding of what the budget process is. We still, nine months later, Maybe it's time to give birth to the answer. <laughs> well, no. I have not got that answer. No, we did get an answer. We asked for it last year. We wanted um, NHMA to come in and do a conference mm -hmm. with us yep. on the default budget. I'll ask. We were told that it was going to be used for something else. Ultimately, it wasn't. It wasn't used. Okay. And so we lost um, the value of okay. that. This year, I think it's our. Our desire to have it is a little bit more crucial. Mm -hmm. that's, um, a good, that's a good uh, One being we point. do I'll have do a couple of new members. We do not have um, any money in our budget for education yeah. this year. The, as I'm told from municipal, it's based on the fact that we have our dues are more than $15,000 <coughs> a year. And it's not quite a full seminar but they could do a budget seminar for approximately two hours, okay. which Let's would check. be greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. So yep. if you can ask yep. them, and if we can get an answer, because I'm sure that their schedule will be very busy. They may not do it until September, because usually they wait for all the changes um, in municipal mm -hmm. um, law and, yep. and things to kick in, because the updates don't come out until September on, on budget. Um, usually just before the conference that a lot of us have gone to. Yeah. But I, w I would appreciate that if we could get on the calendar with that. Absolutely. I will check on Thank that. Thank you. I think this committee last spring, we spent, I believe, four meetings, uh, unusual, in getting ourselves educated on various points so that we would have a common understanding of things. And I hope that we have that same kind of attitude this year with the more that we have an education, a common under, a common oh, education, yeah. the less we're going to be inclined to be in conflict on things that we ought not to be in conflict at all on. Yeah. And this is, in fact, crucial because it's right down, uh, right down our alley in terms of what we're supposed to do, which is budget. Mm -hmm. And the municipal association has a great deal of expertise that they can share with us, and we need it. And if we get mm -hmm. it on TV, 
the entire town can enjoy that education as well. It should be an annual event. I'm going to make a recommendation to you too tonight in light of the fact of what I passed out earlier on the reval. I would strongly recommend that you invite the assessing officer, Mr. Tinker. We did that to last year. April meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did that last year. That was we valuable. Probably do it again this, this year, year I would strongly yeah. suggest mm -hmm. you do it again because the reval is going to be big and he's going to need quite a bit of help mm -hmm. and I think you need to really hear from him personally. This committee has gotten a lot of education yeah. from Mr. Ed Tinker and we look yeah. forward to, I certainly look forward to hearing more from him on he's that. He's excellent, matter. he really is, yes. but he needs Agreed. to share with you. So we're in agreement. That's okay. Good. And I would like to so see a legal okay. meeting too. All right, and I believe that you are already in tune with this one, I want everyone to know under new business that I spoke with um, our town clerk and have requested clarification on the legality of implementation of the Warren article to reduce the number of the budget committee. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, in a little bit of research, I have found that the, impl the problem with the implementation has to do with non-staggered terms that may affect um, that Warren article. And I have passed out some of that work yep. to you. Um, to <coughs> We have no legal budget. So here, herein lies the question. I would like to hand that over to the selectmen so I'll that give it to Mark. they can give it to Mark. I'll give it to Mark. But I do think that we need a state response from mm -hmm. the Attorney General's office and the Secretary of State. Yeah, it's the okay. town clerk that completes the ballot. And so yeah. it's, that's the question is how the is she going is, to effectuate yeah. the passage of that Warren article when she produces next year's ballot? So I believe that is really the town uh, clerk. Okay, well, it's not the town clerk's responsibility when to to uh, evaluate private petition articles. If no, it's not, no. not her job to evaluate. Um, it's over with. It's, it's no longer. Matter it's not passed. I, I guess it's a question of who will be... Um, How well, it will be you implemented. Need, you really. need, clarif it you may need or clarification. May not, it may or may not be um, a valid vote. So mm -hmm. this is I, what I, you I'm, need... I'm, you need I'm not interested in that. I'm only interested in the town clerk. She's the one that determines what goes on that ballot. No. no. You, you make no. up the Warren articles. Mm -hmm. She makes no. up Article 1, no. doesn't she? Mm -mm. No. no. She, she makes up the article for the election of, of officers. Right. Right. That's what we're and, speaking of. And keeps of. track of terms. That's what we're speaking of. Right. Right. But, so but that's why I believe no, that she has a she has to figure out a way no, no, to no. make that Warren article work. No. Well, here's here's no. The, no. above her. No, it it's means well, I have a feeling she needs to call Secretary of State no, no, and, the, she and the Attorney need, General's she office to get advice. She doesn't need to do any of that. That is not in the town clerk's purview. That is a matter for council, and I will check in with the town manager and council, and we will get some type of appropriate legal opinion wherever it's supposed to come from. Well, we'd like it, is, we specifically yes. would like it to come from but you just, AG and, and Secretary yes, of State. Yes. All right, so I, as a conduit, because through you to yeah, the yeah, town manager and the board of selectmen yeah. to attorney Gerald yeah. go through the right channels yes. to get that legal determination yeah. from the secretary yeah. of state and the attorney general. So if I got that it's down, it's yeah. not I just don't want to cut out the town clerk. No, 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 it's not person. the problem. She's the, the one that creates the ballot. Mr. Jones, it's her yeah, to Mr. Jones, in my mind. it has Tim, nothing to do. I'm not arguing the point. I'm point. stating my case. It right. has it's nothing to do with the town clerk. I think clerk. perhaps she needs to be notified right. and kept in the loop Absolutely. on it. Absolutely. But you All need, right. but you need to understand that not every article, particularly a private petition article, is a valid article. People vote on the article. I have, I have a question on that. Was that? article run through town council before it's a private petition article. I realize that town council does not review private petition articles mm -hmm. oh sometimes it does is, try that. is well we look at it, but it, the town council is not being paid to review private petition can articles. I I'm also not debating that. can I also ask <coughs> it may all be for not <coughs> but it seems to me that we have town council and we certainly don't need to bog departments down and town government down after the fact going backwards. I know if I were as a resident submitting a Warren article 
It's your problem. I'm, to have in my in my passion for whatever it would mm -hmm. be, that is my right. Yes. But seeing as how we do fund a legal department mm -hmm. in this town, it would seem prudent mm -hmm. that no. there would be some advice no. given. Well, you're saying no, but it's but I'm this telling is, you this is the question. It's not a. But I'm, I, I know we ha we don't currently <coughs> do it. We, what I'm suggest Mary Louise, but I'm I would to I would love to get <coughs> two words in edgewise. This is a new year, everybody. <coughs> All right, not the same confrontational wheel. It's a new year going forward. If we are to solve problems before they happen, but I'm trying to tell you from past experience. But I'm not talking what about what happens. The past. Yes, we are because this the 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 key to this was probably Tammy Deland's article for growth control, which she wrote, and I don't know how it was drafted. The article passed. It was not enforceable. And I had questioned town council at that point in time. If you know a private petition article that has come before you that all of us have read, if you know there are defects in that, is there anything we can do? And I was told at that time, and I believe this still persists, and I will check with Mark, but we, our town council is not there to assist the public in drafting private warrant articles. They are responsible for doing their I, own research and hiring their own I lawyer do if necessary. I do understand that. So that's but I do it. think, especially since you've just pointed out a situation where we've been here before, mm -hmm. and obviously we haven't learned anything, mm -hmm. if there is a way, we don't want town council to write individuals' warrant articles, but I think a review and pointing somebody in a direction where they can look at something, a legal mind look at it and say, I think there's some issues here. You might want to take it there before you do it. I will bring it up. We, we I, do I that just, for, for the cemetery trustees, for example. For well, some I just that. think that there should be some <coughs> way. I'll ask. Um, <coughs> I know that we asked the town clerk uh, <laughs> what her opinion is on how she's going to go forward putting that warrant article into okay. effect. I don't care about nothing. Can I get a second, please? No. Oh. Okay. No. Nothing to do with the town. Okay. Is there a second for that motion? Apparently not. Okay. No. It fails. No. The problem doesn't I exist. have with that warrant article was it, it was language in it that said by attrition. Mm -hmm. And I, that I suspect is. The well, the mm -hmm. number of positions is also a, a point that is. <coughs> yeah. Okay, it has issues, and we need yeah. we need legal clarity, clarification. All right, mm -hmm. we've got all year to go through it before we get there, and yeah. so that is going to go through the channels yep. exactly as we closed out there. Okay, Did, I don't want to spend time on it tonight, but I would like you guys to just think about this and just throw out a few thoughts. Mm -hmm. We are a big committee, and regardless of what happens after this year, this is what we have this year. And we're going to go through the budget, and it always takes us some time. Last year, most of the department heads liked the idea of the questions ahead of time, so they weren't blindsided. This year, I'd like to go a little bit further, but for those who have been on this committee, for a number of years, it's also going backwards to a time when we had the Education Committee, which met, which kept notes, and which made recommendations. And they probably had on that <coughs> department four to six meetings of their own because it was a period of time that we were SAU 21, mm -hmm. and it was not as <coughs> clear as our new SAU was because we shared a lot of expenses with other towns and we wanted to make sure we were getting our money's worth and we needed to know how things worked. Um, not to belabor that because that was a job done maybe, what, 10 years ago at this point in time. Mm -hmm. But it was very, very productive and it cut down the time spent in this room dramatically because the members on that committee got in, got their hands into everything, came back, and in many <coughs> situations came back saying, yeah, now we understand why they needed money for that. Um, quite honestly, a lot of times now when we have um, new SAU and, and 
we say, you know, you just need one student to upset the apple cart and cost you half a million dollars sometimes. We understand how that comes to play. We didn't before that time. What I'm suggesting in this coming year is that we take the major departments and we form committees, and those committees meet and get a little bit more up close and personal. A lot of times you find out there's a lot of really good reasons why things are needed, and the recommendations back to the committee can um, be very fruitful and not as long-winded as we all can be sometimes in session. That w did not, in the past when we had committees, it did not eliminate the process of bringing the department heads in, as we usually do, for final questions. But it did make things very clear, it provided a lot more information, and it was a much more informed vote. So I don't know how you feel about that. We don't have to form the committees tonight. You might want to give some thought as to whether you want them. I'd love a consensus on how you feel that would work for you. And um, perhaps if you think it would work between now and the next meeting, um, perhaps decide what committees you'd like to serve on. All right, I'll start on this side. I'll start down the end. Bob? Comments on this? Yeah. I think the committee is a good idea. My observation of the past year is the questions were asked of each department head. Mm -hmm. But that took a considerable period of time to go through those questions. And all those questions were pretty much presented by very few members of this committee mm -hmm. at the time. I think that process has to be streamlined. You know, 15 times 5 puts you up to an hour and a half for every issue or sub-issue. And it's not working well, in my opinion. Do you think it would work better if those questions were presented ahead of time to the committee, who would then sit down with the department head and perhaps report back? That makes much more sense to me. It would okay. speed the process up probably by more than half. I, I, that's what I'm looking to do. Okay. All right. Glenn? I like it. You li okay. That's simple. <laughs> um, Jerry? Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. I mean, I'd, you know, I, I, I'd like the idea of, of being on a committee or two or three, if you will, or whatever, and, and being able to ask questions, get a, set, a sense of, uh, from them, a more in-depth sense, and get a better feel for their department. And... Um, you know, I can give you an example of the DPW equipment. I really didn't have a feel for it. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the presentation didn't help me. But if I had been on a committee that was associated with DPW, for instance, I would have had an in-depth sediment. I'd come away with an in-depth sediment on the equipment, for instance. I'd, I'd, I'd be able to see it, touch it look at it, examine it, look at records, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So I would come in with a sediment, uh, a firmer approach. Uh, so I would, I would take my questions or whatever and I would go to whoever the DPW director is or the fire chief or the police chief or whatever and I'd fire the questions at them and listen to their answers, push back, shove back, whatever. Could be an hour, hour and a half or whatever. But I'd get a better sense, come back here and make a recommendation based off of, off of what... <laughs> Uh, me and maybe one or two others have found with respect to whatever committee we are on and make a recommendation to the board. Okay. Tim. I think it, it, it's, a, it's a much more efficient process. Yeah. Tim? I agree. I am not comfortable with subcommittees as I observed them being formed a few years ago where you had a subcommittee for virtually every department. I do think that subcommittees can be useful if you wish to focus on a small number of areas, whether they be departmental areas or across departmental areas, because potentially they may be cross-departmental. That, that could, could work uh, in terms of being a productive exercise. But just broadly having subcommittees is uh, not going, I think, not going to be productive, or perhaps even counterproductive. <coughs> as far as the written questions were concerned, if we take that approach and or some discrete amount of subcommittees, I think the written questions, uh, let's face it, 90% of them were written by Jerry last year. Uh, and most of them, 90% of those questions were good questions too, really. Yeah. 
but it would have saved us a lot of time in the meeting if the person that the questions were addressed could have answered us in written form. <coughs> then we wouldn't have had to, you know, some did oh. spend as much time mm -hmm. discussing it. So here's some thought so. for everybody between now and the next meeting. The goal is to have more information, be better versed, have a better working relationship with the departments, and cut down on the time spent in this room while still informing the public. I mean, that is our job, too. Steve? Let's try it. Brian? <coughs> God, I'm going to choke on this. But anyway, oh. <laughs> I, um, I agree with Mr. Jones. Um, we did this, actually we've done this a couple of years, and to my knowledge, the only two, three people that are on a committee right now was Mike still works with DBW, Sonny and I do CIP. Yeah, then you do a good job. And then we have the other three major facets here. I would like to see us get, you know, if we have a, someone that wants to go and go to their meetings, fine, I don't mind a report like that, but I want these people to come in here, and now we can ask all the questions we want, we can discuss with them, now if there's something that comes out of it that, okay, well, maybe we need to send someone to keep us informed. That's fine, but uh, as Tim said, we we went through this, and like I say, to this day, I think there's only like two that, because like I said, we already have the school, we have the village, we have everyone else is already here, the selectmen are here. Now I think it was a great job tonight of sending everybody home with a little something to say, okay, go back to your, and then bring it back. That's why they're here. Mm -hmm. I'll end it there. Okay. Ray Louise? I'm going to make you an offer because you've heard me talk about this a lot, and I will volunteer if any or all of you are interested because one of the places where the big money goes in this town is rolling stock. You've heard me pound on the table about this for a long time. I will host a tour on site of public works after the weather clears mm -hmm. if we can get into a decent Saturday in April ish 9 a.m. <laughs> meet at public works I mean it and go in there and you're bringing breakfast hands on no no breakfast I eat early so you all are responsible for your breakfast and go in and do hands-on which Mike and I have done and I want you to see the equipment. I want you to understand the condition of the equipment. We want to talk about all kinds of exciting things related to vehicles. That's a $5 million department, and we have a huge investment in vehicles. So I will be delighted to play host to any or all of you, even if one or two of you show up. But I would love to see as many of you as possible. And I will check the calendar and see if we get an open date a month from now, something like that, last Saturday in April, next to last I, Saturday. I would say and we I would love to probably have wait till all the snow is, is yeah. gone and we're in a summer well, operation. Because that may not be till July. Well, but. that's why I'm saying that a month from now. <laughs> we my confuser is the topic subcommittees. Well, the topic is subcommittees, and Mary Louise is saying that she would be more than happy to do rolling stock. Um, which means that she's yeah. probably very happy to sign up, for, and I'm sure Mike is too, for, for DPW. Subcommittee. Not a subcommittee, just as a courtesy to you well, and because it is a big factor in well, our budgeting. I'll be happy to see you be on DPW committee and you I'll, can make rolling stock I'll be your, delighted your to, challenge. Uh, to host. You know what, there's nothing wrong with this. Everybody can dig into <clears throat> an entity and report yeah. back. We can't all be everywhere all the time. Mm -hmm. So the idea of the subcommittees is that mm -hmm. whoever is on that subcommittee for the rest of the year is the eyes and ears of what goes on with that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I could spend my life watching television and mm -hmm. reruns of every committee out here and everything that's been mm -hmm. done and and 
visit all these entities, mm -hmm. and that doesn't need to be done. Yeah. But I understand and I appreciate that offer. Uh, Mike, your thoughts? I, I think what's been mentioned is is a step in the right direction. Uh, the questions work very well, but they need to be tweaked. The only problem I have with the questions is that it would have been nice to have more participation. I think that, mm -hmm. you know, and I will thank Jerry <coughs> because Jerry stepped in huge, but you know what, having been um, a selectman, having served on this committee before, um, and being with the school board now, as a school board representative, let, Jerry is pretty rounded as far as information from the back end of things. So he had questions, and sometimes I looked at his questions, and I looked at the way I had my question, and it was like, ah, how, with that, how with that one, you know? I like Jerry's better. But that's just how it happened. But no one was ex on, at this table what, who was here last year was excluded from that process. And at first, I thought the department heads really wouldn't like it, and they really did like the heads up. So yeah. if we can go forward and have the interaction <coughs> with the subcommittees and have that questioning mm -hmm. broadened, do it ahead of time in a more, not last minute, but planned manner. And it will take a little bit. And this might be something that can go forward with this committee in the future. Mike, I know that this Mike and Mike. Maybe Mike Mike, Mike was one of the members who served on the SAU 21 committee that was unlike the ones we've had in recent years. It was way more involved. Mm -hmm. And he has experience. So you know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that committee. So I'm going to ask your opinion and how it fits in what we're doing. Well, I'd like to add a comment about that. I think what I learned, I learned a lot from that because we went through your bed practically every week, sometimes more than that, all summer long mm. with people at the SAU 21. And I learned, for example, that I didn't even know this, and I'm just going to give one example, and there was many. The school is responsible for kids at age three. Mm -hmm. now, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. I figured probably five. But anyway, it was a good experience, and we learned a lot. And did we bring a whole lot back to the... Uh, uh, table, maybe some would argue we did, and some would argue we didn't. And of course, we had some a couple of little conflicts, but that was it added a little pizzazz to it for me. And uh, but no, I think that if we write the questions, I think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Write the questions, but I think if we could sort of put them together and then get a response back so we could all see the answers mm -hmm. before we start the meeting, that would make it go a lot smoother and response to making it go smoother and quicker. And when it comes to subcommittees, I'm sort of neutral because I've been some really got my uh, taste of that, and I've had all of my experience. I'm too old now. Thank you. <laughs> my feeling is, you know, the board of selectmen set the parameters for the budget, and when the department heads come to, before us, they have to justify what they're asking. Well, my problem with the questions were they were nickel and diming mm -hmm. whether we want to, whether a, you want to spend $6,000 on a, on a piece of equipment or, you know, I mean, the, the point is the, you know, if the budget parameters are set, if they're looking for a 1% increase or a flat budget, the departments have to justify why they need more than that. You know, I think it's important that we get to know the, wor the workings of each department. To recall, your Mary Louise, you proposed a couple of years <coughs> ago the tour on a Saturday. Yes, sir. And I was there, but you didn't. I, I know. Nobody I know, else I know. showed okay. up. I know. All right, but it's a fine idea. I mean, the more we know about the workings of the departments, yep. the better we are to be able to make decisions. Yeah. Mr. Wood. I am a fan, <coughs> excuse me, of subcommittees. I think we cannot all be an expert on all departments of the town. Right. If a subcommittee is formed and they do a lot of the investigative work of determining how a department runs and what it needs, mm -hmm. they can come back to the whole committee and make a recommendation. And if there's four members on a subcommittee, 
and you have four of them voting in one way, then the rest of us can say, well, chances are I'm going to vote in favor of that subcommittee. The subcommittee comes back and says two are in favor of it, two are opposed, well, then you make up your own mind. The committee still has the final say in how you vote. But you're saving time by letting certain members become more experienced. Um, as far as visits to the DPW and things like that, I would love to do things like oh, that. So please keep me in mind. Love to have you do it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I also think it would be in our best interest if we followed the Mason rules a little bit better as far as when we talk, the reduction of crosstalk, and perhaps we don't need to go around the entire room and have everyone give their two cents. Perhaps. The chair, the vice chair, could say, "Who has an issue with this particular problem or issue?" Raise your hand and 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 talk. But we don't need 15 people to all give our two minutes worth because yeah, we're we're too large of a committee. I like that idea. At yeah. least yeah. until we get Amen. smaller. So everyone doesn't have to go around the room and speak. The chairman could chairperson mm -hmm. could say, "Who has an issue with this particular budget right. item?" And one. we'll only address that. Yeah. And I could see our meetings going from. 7 to 11 to 7 to 9, yeah. and yeah. still be just as productive as yeah. we've been. Well, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Good so idea. Just my two cents. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I would have to agree as far as the committees go. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I would add to uh, Mr. Wood's comments was just uh, so long as the, you know, the, the goal is to remain objective and try to keep the facts present and not put a lot of bias in it. Um, I think that that having two or three members on a subcommittee will help combat that. Um, but I do think it's a good idea to have a small representative go out and learn a little bit more about these departments and, and find out the need for them. I also like the idea of transparency. Going to go, hey, let's go go out on a Saturday. Let's go check it out. I love to take Put hands on. By all means, sign me up. Because I, um, I think that's you know it's a, a good responsibility for everybody. You know, even uh, regular. Taxpayers would probably like to get out there and see a mm -hmm. see a truck or two, see yeah. what their money's going towards. I think it's a wonderful thing, so that's a great idea. <coughs> Question, Madam Chair. Yes, David. What are the Mason rules? I am not familiar with that phrase. What? You made reference to the Mason rules. Um, the rules that the state follows, as far as when people are speaking, they speak directly to the chairperson. They get permission to talk from the chairperson. And it's not like you and I are talking back and forth. It's it's all going through the chair. And what it does is it reduces crosstalk. It, it keeps things more in line. Um, it's more organized. And I think it allows the chairperson more control of where the conversations are going. Okay. And so what, what those rules are are the rules by which the New Hampshire State Legislature uh, con attempts to conform. Is that, is that correct? Correct. And Madam Chair, more on the committee. Um, we have a rules subcommittee we created last year, mm -hmm. um, and that might be a topic worthy of that committee if we're going to continue with such a committee. And, and I do believe that should our numbers be reduced in the future, that that committee will be more important than ever this year to just, we're not making the rules, we're trying to put down some guidelines mm -hmm. for those who come after us. Um, and that can be a committee in and of itself. So just give some thought um, between now and then. I have two more things under new business, or actually one more thing under new business, the other thing really old business that just perpetuates itself. The last thing under new business is Mary Louise, I would like you to present um, the fact that I think it would be a good thing for the Budget Committee and the Board of Selectmen and the Town Manager to try to get on the same page this year. Oh, I agree. It appears that last year we were all mm -hmm. in different corners. Mm -hmm. We all saw, saw the voted differently. It didn't turn out the way anybody wanted I it to some extent. I Perhaps that's politics. <laughs> uh, I, I suggest that we get back to taking the political end of things mm -hmm. out of what we do and get back to governing. There is a big difference between politics and government and governing. Um, 
and I suggest we strive to do more of that, mm -hmm. yep. all right, and less of the other. And I think that if you could somehow be a um, conduit in perhaps facilitating or putting together a couple of meetings between town manager, uh, board of selectmen, and um, myself, if that means that I come in and we just discuss at a selectmen's meeting, um, perhaps some goals, a little premature now, but perhaps okay. a May or June meeting, and by then we will have had, maybe a June meeting, okay. uh, by then perhaps we will have had some discussion here as to okay. where we see things going. Okay. Just a thought, um, open up the, the dialogue on that I think would be a wonderful thing. And then an old business. This is the commercial I make every year under 91A. All right. We do not meet outside of this room. Any of you are free to have a conversation with one another, um, but we do not meet. All meetings are held in public. As we discuss um, any attempts in the future to have subcommittees, to be sure you will meet and you will keep minutes of those subcommittees and you will bring them into the public eye when you come here. The problem that we have, and it has more to do with technology and progress, has to do with emails. I, I start out every year by saying that you can violate 91A inadvertently by just sending a simple email and copying it to everybody. If you, if you send an email with copies to a quorum of the committee and only one person responds so that there is a two-way interaction, it is a meeting and then needs to be recorded. And I go over that every year at this meeting and every year it has its own challenges. I send you out emails. And at the bottom of the emails, yeah. I always put information only, do not respond. Joan usually sends you the minutes just in a file to open with no discussion. But once an email is sent, and, it's, and here's what happens. You know, it can be as easy as Nick just sending an email to Bob, but then Bob decides to send it to the rest of us. And anybody expresses an opinion in that chain, it becomes a meeting. So I would suggest you keep your business to this room um, and keep your emails information only. That is my suggestion. I can't make anybody do anything. Other than to tell you, we have had a couple of times this year where that has happened, where an email has gone out, has gone out to a quorum, but then had to be incorporated into the minutes of the next meeting as having gone out there. So you're not you're not private when you're discussing budget <coughs> committee business. All right. Madam Chair. Yes. One and more Jerry. piece of um, of new business. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, perhaps you could announce publicly that there is one seat available. Um, am yes. I correct? There is one seat available. And that perhaps uh, if somebody would like to uh, apply for that seat, they mm -hmm. could make their interest known. Do you want to put a time limit on that? That's a good point, Steve, but I am confused on that. There were many write-ins. You're talking about the one-year position, right? Yes. There were many write-ins on that. Mm. Uh, we don't know who the second place winner was. Right. What we did in the past So was that may I, already be filled. I contacted, saying. now knowing that I may may not have been the chair tonight, I didn't take any action on it mm -hmm. yet. Um, the, the election was. You want to wait till the away. next meeting? No, but I'm, I'll. I want to explain the process. The budget committee can appoint to that position. Um, we're in the same position with Nick that we were in with Jerry last last year. Was it Jerry, where you ran for two seats yeah. mm -hmm. and were elected to two seats, but you can only take one, so you yeah. chose the three-year term. Mm -hmm. And in um, Jerry's case, he chose the school committee. Mm -hmm. So. Nick, I technically won both seats. He chose one. We now have um, a one-year seat available. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, going out to the public. We do have other people who were voted on 
There always is, including Mickey Mouse, right. on every election for every office. I'm yeah. sure there's Donald Duck and oh. and Mickey for selectmen too. There always <laughs> is. It's, so th that being yeah, much. that being said, people's names may be on the ballot, <clears throat> but they may not have had any clue that their neighbor decided to write them in, um, either seriously or as a practical joke. All right, so what, I, what I've done in the past is for anyone out there, and the paper in the corner could be a big help on this, if there was somebody who ran as a write-in and was serious, they should contact me. Um, my number can be gotten right out of the book or with Christine, or it's online, I think, too. Um, they can contact me or they can contact me by email. My email address is just my name, Eileen Latimer, at Comcast.net, and I will certainly present all the candidates to you so that at the next meeting we can fill that seat and um, <coughs> we'll know what the representation is. There'll be one way communications out to you. But as I've done in the past, usually by the very next meeting, I try to fill that seat and have that person sworn in that same night okay. so that they can sit and vote. Madam Chair. Yes. We will not officially know whether we have an open seat until the town clerk tells us though, correct? No, we're still I've one short. No, I've already s spoken to the town clerk. Oh, oh she has said we have an open seat? Well, we have an open seat by virtue of the fact that yeah. Nick won both of them. Yeah, but somebody mm -hmm. came in second to Nick, therefore he would have won. No, that's not how it works. No. He mm -hmm. won both of them. He turns one in, and now that leaves that seat open again. It's not like okay. first and second. What That's okay. so. So the town clerk has, has declared. He just wasn't sworn in yet. So the town yeah, just like so 16. No, it's 15. Just so I'm clear, the town clerk has declared we have one open seat. Correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I've you. already had. So everybody's clear. I have already had that conversation. I've already gone down the roster. That paper that I gave you tonight. Um, that has the roster from now till 2020. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't lose that because, trust me, especially since people leave midterm, um, that I went through that. I went through that with Jane. I went through everybody's expiration dates and facted forward to 2020. Oh, nice. Who's in, who's out, ba even based on the Warren article as it's written, okay, which may change that, but. As we sit right now, that's the roster as it would be in, in, in the next few years. And that's the opening that we have. We have one opening. Thanks, Not Alan. to be confused with, um, is Alan? Yes, Alan. Alan. Not to be confused mm -hmm. with Alan's one-year seat. Alan is not here tonight. He has not been sworn in. He was elected. He has a one-year seat. So the one-year seat that I'm talking about is the one that Nick was right in for mm -hmm. two, all right, yeah. and uh, and took the three-year seat. So we now have the second one-year <laughs> seat available. Madam Chair, if I say this enough, yeah. it'll sink in. Yes. If I might just take a moment, uh, as long as we're talking about membership, you know, we have uh, a, a school committee representative here, um, and the school committee will be deciding, I guess, at their next meeting, who the representative will be for 2015. But Mr. Jerry Zanoy, to my right, has given this committee extraordinary service last year. Yes, And I think he, he is worthy of uh, commendation for your efforts, Jerry. I'm very appreciative of it. Oh, thank you, Jim. And uh, I wanted to be sure that uh, uh, we don't not recognize Jerry's hard work. Not only is he a school board representative, but he was also elected to this, this committee. Uh, so he had kind of a double interest, if, if you will, and he certainly put in a double workload, and I thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jim. Back to the original conversation, if okay. I may. Let, let him, he had his hand up first. Didn't you? No. Can I, can, I, can I make a comment or yeah. two? Uh, I had some problems with the budget myself, uh, Mary Louise, so here are, my, here are my observations, and I think a lot of people here will agree. The backup data in the budget was woeful. 
if you try to analyze a budget, be it fire or police or DPW or assessor or whatever, and they're supposed to include some good backup data for the line item that they're proposing to get money for, and the backup data is either missing or completely insufficient or inadequate, that's a problem. I know that. Now, I think Christine picked up on it while she was here. Mm -hmm. And she said, this is my first year. And she kept hearing how backup data was just not there. <coughs> but this is not just a new happening that happened last year, because it was there with, when I was there as well as a selectman. That needs to be improved upon. I agree with you. In order for us to get together, you know, yes. uh, we need to improve the system better. Okay. The second thing is that there are certain line items in each person's budget. He's asking for money, but money's never been spent on that line item. Well, where is the money? Oh, we don't know. We'll get back to you. One I had in mind was sand, $10,000 or whatever. We haven't spent any money on sand in three years while we're asking for sand. So, we're, oh, we're buying it. The shed's full of it or whatever. Let's solve. Jerry. Salt. But I mean, wherever the sand was going, we have sand. Mm -hmm. So where, where is that money getting lined in? You know, it's got to be, that's, it's being spent somewhere else on some other line item. Yeah. That goes back to the back data, because at one point, somebody bought sand. Yeah. I mean, well, what, what what I mean we're buying it every year, but it's being placed in some other account other than the sand line item. Jerry, it's not, it's not being placed in another account. Some items may not be necessary every single year. Don't forget, we have sand available. No, we were talking, this, he's talking but, about but, item for item, but where the, you had it on a line and it was there one year, but it wasn't there the next. Sidewalks and oh, I, I guess, mm -hmm. I guess for a big summary, last year, and we could go, you could go through the minutes and it would probably mm -hmm. spin your head, consistently we asked, I'll take out the fuel. We asked at almost every meeting, do you have the fuel figures? Do you have the fuel figures? Do you have the fuel figures? We didn't get a fuel figure until we gave a figure and said, yeah. we think you can live with this. And it was, well, this is what we pay. It's like we've been asking you every single meeting. Exactly. And I think that that has to have credibility this year. I and one more thing that, that I'm going to piggyback yeah. on that, I would very much like to see our book have a default column. Absolutely. In the same book. Yes, all together, yeah. as it's, it's always it. been. Last oh, no, they have a separate budget, Mary. It's I don't a, separate want a separate budget, budget. and it was, it's, it's last word to do one of these things oh, during the course I'll of the go, I'll go back up. And it's it's terrible. Back. And oh, you know what? It was, it was Christie's first year. Yeah. We didn't Make wait, the best we waited right. through it, but this is, this is year two, and it created quite a bit of problems. She was using Mike's format. Let me go back and look because I right. have Mike's. No, she didn't use printing. Mike's format because right. I had the copy from the year before. Yeah. And I also had the electronic okay. copy from the year before. Okay. So she did not do that. She okay. separated. I need well, to check the She did not change them from the year before. I think not the year before, just the year before, before that. For a it would be very Maybe convenient them. if okay. the okay. default line was right yeah. with the regular budget. So we right. can see that yes. whatever the... Gee, is that default line correct? I mean, you know. I see what you're saying. I mean, uh, you know, it's very difficult to try to go back to another budget right. called the default yeah. budget. Point very well but, taken. But, but, and, and, and the other thing is, is that I even heard the selectman, Mary Louise, this just within a week or two say, we don't look at the default budget. That's the town manager's job. No, no. I said we don't make the default budget. No, but budget. I mean. It, I'm not qualified to make the default budget. That comes out of finance. So but shouldn't oh, the I default see. budget so the be made simply by what we spend on? No, no, no. All right. I don't yeah. want to listen. I don't want to get no. into a default budget debate yeah. tonight. Yeah. Right. I right. would yeah. like to I have agree. one down Madam the Chair. road, but not tonight. That's that's a whole yeah. night's issue. Uh, this, this broad category I was constantly making reference to as accounting visibility opportunities. We needed better accounting visibility. And, I, well, and, you know and, what? Here's and, my let me finish. Here's my please suggestion, let me though, Tim. So and my answer suggestion to was <laughs> then, and it is now, that we should uh, have Christy in on 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 an evening this spring and talk about some of the possibilities of how things could mm -hmm. maybe go better at the lowest possible cost of doing it. Basically, let's grab, grab the low-hanging fruit. Yeah. Right, so well, that we here's my suggestion to all of that, because this seemed to work very well with the departments. Between now and next meeting, why don't all of you, everybody had a question somewhere of information that they thought 
Mm -hmm. It could have gotten better. Mm -hmm. Okay? Make a list of that. Yep. All right? That's good. I think that's the best way to do it. That way we don't have, yeah. again, like Dave said, you know, 15 people mm -hmm. coming at it. Make the list and say, you know what, this is some of the stuff last year that good. we got stuck on. All right? Mm -hmm. We had asked questions. We waited for it. It kept our decisions going. We rolled from one meeting yeah. to the next saying, where's yeah. the information? Where's the information? I thought I gave it to you. I didn't give it to you. Clear enough? Yeah. Make That's a list. Good. And we'll submit that. And then I said, I said Mike could talk before you jumped in. Where do you want that to come to you? You can come to me in an email. Okay. I want to jump back before I got chopped off oh. because you guys interrupted over on that side of the table. I must speak to you. Sick, sick of your yeah, rule on him. They're not paying attention to Dave, I'm telling anyway, you. Anyway, um, can't we entertain the next highest write in voter? You can, but do what, we have that information? You can, but what I'm saying is that we need to validate whether or not that next highest write-in voter exactly. really wants to serve on the budget committee. Exactly. Can sometimes that voter has 30 votes, right. and sometimes they have two mm -hmm. that their two best friends thought it would really be funny <laughs> right, right. if they well, served. I've been done All right. Over. Now, why don't we? Can at least can we find out though? At, that's what I was saying, Mike. Right. Is that I haven't had time to do if, that. If you can find out from J uh, Jane who they were. And how many they got? So we after an election, it usually takes a little while yeah. before that list of write-ins is actually compiled. It has to be compiled, right. but it's not always as instant the day after right. as right. those who won. Yeah. And so you ask, and I think we went through that last year, the year before, where we looked at all the write-ins. Thank you. That's all I had. Thank you. Yeah. Anything? Anybody else? <laughs> all right. Um. I, I move to adjourn. Second. Yeah, second. <laughs> you need the time on record. It's nine at o'clock. <coughs> nine. At eight fifty-eight. Thank you. Cool. Are we voting? All those in favor? <coughs> Anybody opposed to adjourning? No. Thank you. <laughs> the favorite vote of the night. It is. <laughs> <laughs>